everyone. It's a wonderful Wednesday here at BCHS. We're your host, Elena. And I'm Jordan. Let's start off with today's lunch. Uh, today you will be enjoying a chicken sandwich, and your sides will include baked beans, potato wedges, red peppers, bananas, and you can wash it all down with a cold milk. Now let's jump into today's celebrations with these holidays. And now a rundown of your top five news stories. Hi, I'm Holden McDaniel. These are your top five news stories of the day. Number one, private lunar lander was the first U.S. spacecraft to land on the moon since the 1970s. Number two, thousands of biometric gun safes recalled due to faulty locks. Number three, FBI uses MMA fight posters to identify January 6th rioter. Number four, new snake species discovered in the Amazon measuring over 25 feet long. Number five, an Iowa boy among the youngest to ever bowl a perfect 300 game. Next, here's today's word and quote of the day. This week's word of the week is omnipotent. Of a deity having unlimited power, able to do anything. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Mother Teresa. We all have our own personal style. And we have our own stories we buy from uh, to make our outfits work. So where are you hornets shopping at? Hi, uh, my name is Samuel Randolph, and I, if I had to shop at uh, one store for the rest of my life, I think I'd shop at Target. Just... Hello. I don't know what these guys want from me, except that they want me to say that one store I have to shop at is Cabela's. La Tienda de Ropa. What does that mean? Many of you took the ACT yesterday and hopefully you sco um, your score helps you secure more money for college. Thinking of college, Hornet Studios wanted to know where you Hornets were wanting to go. So we took to the halls and here's what you said. I'm here with? Gifford. What college do you want to go to? I have no idea. I'm going to play junior hockey next year so I won't go to college until I'm 21. I'm here with? Brody Sainer. Uh, what college are you wanting to go to? K-State, baby. I'm here with? Reed. What college are you wanting to go to? K-State. Thank you. I'm here with? Alla Winslow. Uh, if you could go to any college, what would it be? Boomer Nation, baby. Oh, you. Today is a new day and it is chilly. Take a look here at today's temperatures. Hi, I'm Chloe Friesen and today's high is 48 and today's low is 29. Now uh, for a quick blast of the past, let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay classy, BC. February 28, 1953. In Britain, scientists say they've found the double helix structure of DNA, the molecule that contains the human genes. Years later, Francis Crick describes the discovery that he and fellow scientist James Watson made. Biological systems are the result of evolution, and they produce very complicated things. Now, the reason that DNA lo looks so beautiful and simple is it goes right back to near the origins of life. 1993, start of an armed standoff at the Branch Davidian compound in Waco, Texas. Federal agents try to arrest religious leader David Koresh for stockpiling guns and explosives. That sparks a shootout which kills four agents and six of Koresh's Davidian followers. The standoff ends 51 days later when the compound burns to the ground, killing nearly 80 people. 1986, Sweden's Prime Minister Olaf Palma is shot to death in central Stockholm. His murder remains unsolved. And 1983. Rock group U2 releases its war album. Among the tracks, New Year's Day and Sunday Bloody Sunday. Today in History, February 28th. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. <laughs>